Hi everybody, welcome to Mansfield. We've come here to sort a property out that's uh, got a lot of damp in it. Um, my first job when I got here was to unload all the stuff. We're starting this job on Monday. Um, but while I were here, one of the issues is this, uh, this render here. Put a damp proof course on the bottom. Uh, it's not working. Um, when, when it rains, the rain water splashing back up here and soaking in here, so penetrating down. The same on here. Same on here, it's flashing back up here, you're getting penetrating down. I'll just show you where this, this side of the wall was a big cracking wall, nasty gash. Um, it's flashing back up at the wall here, and then if you look down there, you can see there's loads and loads of pipes at the bottom, rainwater splashing back up at them, penetrating. To property because it's a solid wall built from headers and stretches, as is most properties, 110 year old. Um, the product that we've put on here, Safeguard Storm Dry, on the best off market, it allows moisture, water vapour to go in and out of property, but it doesn't, uh, but it will stop rainwater penetrating. See this bead what they've put up here, just get them a close in on it there. This has not been sealed. They've put this render on, which is lovely, but they've not sealed it up there so rainwater will get behind there and eventually it'll blow. Just take it inside. This is a lovely property. It's just a shame that it's got damp, you know what I mean? Like most properties. Uh the valley damp course done years and years ago but unfortunately it doesn't look as if it was done correctly there's different issues going off um, that need sorting now if you look at this chimney breast and all across it you see how high that is you've got if you think that that render were at the bottom so the put they've had a, a salt neutralizing plaster on because you can see it at the bottom and then you've got this band of plaster above it because damp proof course well they've put in is not working but salt neutralising plaster is to a, a certain extent but then behind it damps rose up through capillaries in masonry and started coming out of this salt band and then when it's humid because salts are hygroscopic they absorb moisture from the air um, if you ever did a, a test when you were at school you put salt water and you in science you put salt water into a beaker and you stuck it on the top of a bunsen burner and then you let it evaporate that salt water you'd have found that there were little salts in the bottom of the glass or on the sides of the glass. That is a similar effect to what happens when damp rises from the ground. The salt, the, the water evaporates through the wall but it leaves the salts behind and they absorb moisture. So it's just a little science lesson for you there. So, right, other thing that's going off. Damp issue, a bit of black mould, all that kind of thing and you've got the same up here, salt damp, used to be a chimney, uh, sulfates, when when that um, when that inside of the chimney gets wet or wet, when the sulfates are, they will eventually migrate to the surface and then absorb moisture from the air and if you look, it's got like a yellow tinge to it, so if you look on chimney breast and you see that, you see these big sweat patches in winter which is this time of year. Um, if it's on the chimney breast and it's up at height, um, nine times out of ten it's going to be a sulfate salt, so it's going to be a, um, a 
absorbing moisture from air. You've got it's, it's condensation season, so most properties are quite humid. You don't open your windows as much. You uh, the air outside is humid, so it's just uh, it just adds up. Um, other thing is if you just had a if you just if you just had a dampened timber survey done, or if you just, if you've had a survey done, and they've said that there's no uh, damp issues, and you suddenly find these sweat patches on your chimney breast, it might be that the surveyor's missed it. Now, an average surveyor should see that because it'll just run his meter up and down the chimney breast and be able to tell whether there's any salt in or comment on it. So an average to good surveyor will, will sort of that. If he's not so average or if he's been rushing, he might have missed it. But always check on a survey, make sure the surveyor's checked each chimney breast to see whether you're going to get sulphate salts um, sweating, you know, at times of high humidity. So uh, this one, this one, Problem was it's slightly below ground level because we've got that like, little step in there, but that ground level outside is slightly higher. Um, they put some kind of render on. If you look here, you see that they've got like a, a vent. And it's an air brick vent and that was straight through to outside. So when these base units were in, all at back of there they've been freezing cold. So you get condensation forming from kitchen. Um, and that's when you get your black mould after that. So, uh, so that's another issue we're, we're, we're going to deal with that. Let's get that sorted out. Right, quickly, I'm going to skip upstairs. So all this on Monday is all going to be covered in uh, carpet protector. But uh, they've already took carpets up upstairs, but it's uh, down here. I've already marked on this one. Got, this, this, is an, this is chimney rest from, from down here. Uh, and same again, you can see all patches on it, sulfate salts. But we're going to sort that out for this lovely couple. And then if I come back here, you can just see that staining sulfates again, the bottom of the chimney breast, uh, and it's affected both walls at either side. So we're going to sort that out as well. Let's be good like that. Alright, and we go up into the attic, which will keep us fit. <sighs> My knees are going. Right, look at this chimney. So, that's as bad as it gets. So, basically, soot from the chimney flues inside for 110 years. Fossil fuel burnt on, on uh, fires downstairs. Inside of there will be lined with, with soot. And that's got sulfates in, it's carbon. Um, and when they've got wet, because they're not vented, then that's uh, sulfates migrate to the surface, which is uh, unfortunate. So that's, uh, that's me done. We're gonna get cracked on with this on Monday. And we're going to make sure that all this property is lovely and dry for them when they come and take over it, take, take the keys back off us. Um, we'll do a super job for them and they'll be happy as Larry. So subscribe to us please. We want most, more people subscribing to us to get this valuable content what we're, what we're giving you now. We're giving you it for free. All this content. We're telling you what's why, why properties are damp. Keep looking. If you've got any damp issues in your property, have a look at other videos on. See if you recognise any symptoms. See if there's any value for them. Uh, I'm Damp Sam. I'm from All Dry Damp Proofing Limited. And we're up in Barnsley. Um, and if you want to email us with any questions about your property, if you've got any um, pictures, send us them. I'll comment on them. And... Um, we do the surveys, things like that, but we, we talk to you about them. If you want one, we could point you in the right direction. All right, so enjoy your weekend. Keep damping.